Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at a big one, a very special beer. This is the one, the only from Three Floyds Brewing. This is their 2011 version of Dark Lord. It's a 15% alcohol by volume, Imperial Stout released on one day a year. So if you're lucky enough to get it, get a ticket. You can pick yourself up a couple bottles of this. This one is considered to be one of the greatest beers on the planet. What's one of the most sought after beers um, by beer geeks, uh, rightfully so. Um, I've had small samples of it. I've never really had to, gotten to try a whole bottle of it or a, you know, a whole full glass of it. So looking forward to enjoying this one. So without further ado, you guys want to see this one. I know you do. Let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on Three Floyds Dark Lord. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Dark Lord. Well, it lives up to its reputation. It's an imperial stout, black as night, poured like a viscous motor oil. Um, it's leaving a brown film where it actually touches the side of the glass. Tons of alcohol legs creeping down the glass. 15%, I would expect that. Very, very little head to uh, speak of. I poured it pretty easily, so I don't expect too much with the ABV as well. Do you see some carbonation there on the sides of the glass? Can't see any light through it. It's the Dark Lord living up to its name. Just an awesome looking Imperial Stout. All right, the aroma on the Dark Lord. Wow, whoa, massive amounts of coffee. Um, I think this is actually brewed with coffee. I'm getting that in there. It's like an espresso character, bitterness, dark chocolate, a massive mountains of dark chocolate streaming off this one, big like 80% cocoa. Um, I'm getting a, like a light, uh, maybe like a maraschino cherry type of fruitiness in there. A little bit of a sweet kind of boozy molasses character. Um, a nice kind of roasted quality in there, uh, like a roasted grain, nice breadiness. A little bit of the alcohol, but I would expect that. It's just a, it's a really, really kind of uh, intense smelling imperial stout. All right guys, so the taste on the Three Floyds Dark Lord. Cheers. All right, yeah, right at the front of the tongue. Wow, massive, massive, massive sweetness. Um, it's like a molasses or a, like a maple syrup type of sweetness, followed almost immediately by that espresso bitterness, that coffee bitterness. I'm getting, uh, again, mountains of like this big dark chocolate kind of underlying tone that balances out with the coffee um, and the big sweetness. Middle of the mouth, this thing just coats your mouth. I mean, just covers your mouth in this big, viscous, kind of syrupy sweetness. Um, the coffee kind of blooming a little bit in the middle of the mouth as well. Definitely getting some of the graininess, uh, it's, I'm sorry, some of the roastedness uh, from the malts in there. Like it's almost like a, a touch of like a really, really light smoke, uh, kind of molasses, kind of sweetness in the middle of the mouth as well. For 15%, you actually don't taste that alcohol at all. Um, I'm feeling it a little bit of like a heat in the chest and the back of the throat. Aftertaste, again, it's just more sweetness. I'm getting more of that. Uh, it's almost like a, like a dark fruit, like a fig or a little bit of like a cherry aftertaste. Again, more molasses, more sweet, syrupy, uh, kind of sugary you know, flavors in there as well. More coffee, more chocolate. It's a massively sweet beer, almost on the verge of being almost too, too overly sweet, but it's a really, really deep, complex tasting Imperial Stout. It's not like anything I've ever really had as far as Imperial Stout goes. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Three Floyds Dark Lord 2011 batch. The 2012 batch was actually just released, so you might be able to get a bottle of that if you're into trading. Guys, I'm going to give this one an A. I think the big question is there, you know, it, does it live up to the hype? Is it worth seeking out? Absolutely. I think it's one of those beers you just do have to check off because it is such a crazy, intense beer. And honestly, the flavors are amazing on this thing. It's really unlike any other Imperial Stout that I've had. The one issue I really keep coming back to on this one for me is it's really, really, really sweet. Big molasses, sugary, syrupy, almost to the point of being cloying. You know, this is an amazing beer. Don't get me wrong. Does it live up to the hype? Yes. Is it worth trying? Absolutely. Go get yourself a bottle. Is it an A+. It's an A for me. It's a little bit too sweet, and that's really the only criticism I have of it. I'd love to taste a barrel-aged version, um, see if that bourbon character or rum or whatever they're doing with it really helps to cut that. Maybe someday. Who knows? So with that said, guys, Three, th three, ugh, three Floyds Dark Lord getting an A from me. Definitely check it out. Remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.